without any resistance, the PG get into the gates of Dair Ezees or reaching the industrial zone on the east bank. At the moment there are strong confrontations once it seems that the defences of the Islamic State have been established there. This Monday the SDF continued their advance towards Dair Ezees or and captured the freight train station. The Syrian Democratic Forces FDS, mainly composed of Kurdish militias, vowed not to attack government troops in Syria's Dair Etzer Governorate, Taliban spokesman Talal Silo told Sputnik. We have clear instructions that when we do away with Dais we should not act against the regime's forces or against allied Russian, Iranian or Hezbollah forces, Silo said. At the same time, he stated that the SDS reserves the right to respond if government troops attack them. The spokesman also stressed that the SDS aspire to maintain direct negotiations with the Syrian government in accordance with the demands of the UN. Today, we are the main force of the opposition, since we control 35% of the Syrian territory, he said. Earlier, it was reported that the SDS units began an operation against the Daesh terrorists in the Syrian province of Deir Etzer where government troops are already carrying out a successful operation with the support of the Russian Aerospace Force. Now that there is a break of the siege on Deir Etzer and the defenders of the Syrian city have met with the reinforcements of the government troops. The Syrian Arab army will have to clear of jihadistas the territory of Deir Etzer. Then will follow the liberation of the localities of Mahyadin and Abu Kamal. It is necessary to reach the border between Syria and Iraq. In addition, we anticipate that the Syrian troops coordinate their actions with the Iraqi military. This is the only option to destroy the rest of the terrorist forces. Russian journalist Andrei Antikov said that Day still controls several positions in Deir Etzer, particularly in the southeastern part of the town. The Syrian government army and the Russian aerospace forces will continue to move towards this part of Deir Etzer. Meanwhile, Russia also deals with de-escalation zones. Moscow is interested in the fact that the fourth zone of detente begins to operate in the province of Idlib. It is possible that the U.S. will stop supporting Daesh and approve another plan, whose aim would be the creation of an independent Kurdish state. There will soon be a referendum on the independence of Iraqi Kurdistan and elections in areas controlled by the Syrian Kurds. I am sure that these steps will be carried out with the support of the United States, taking into account the successes of Russia and Syria in the war against terrorists U.S. seeks to destroy Syrian state. Antikov put the focus on that the creation of an independent Kurdish state seems more dangerous than the threat of Daesh. The situation must be solved through diplomacy, so that Russia will insist on the active participation of the Kurds in the political settlement process in Syria in the framework of the negotiations between Astana, Kazakhstan, and Geneva, Switzerland.